What's up, YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader coming back to you with another video. And I think to follow up on yesterday's video regarding the 30th anniversary collection, TAC as it's nicknamed, uh, there are some amazing multi packs and battle packs and uh, multi figure packs, store exclusives, vehicles. There's all kinds of good stuff. And I thought it was actually worthy of a separate video in and of itself when we look at the prices for those. And some of the prices were really surprising. I knew about some of these and that some of these were pretty expensive kind of uh, store exclusives and things like that, but the prices have really jumped over the last uh, few years like everything else has. And uh, I want to go ahead and dig right in. Uh, we have a clone pack. This is called the Battlefront 2 Clone Pack. So this is related to going back to gaming greats and all the, the latest TVC releases. This was released as part of the Star Wars Battlefront 2 video game. And uh, it's got a, a really nice set of different clones as well as a Galactic Marine in there. It says PX Previews Exclusive. I, you know, the, these 30th anniversary multi-packs have a lot of windows and a lot of, you know, packaging that have odd angles. So it's really difficult to get these in, in uh, really good shape. But this one looked like it was in excellent condition. And the, the, the box art on it is pretty incredible on the back. You can see the back there. Uh, the Galactic Marine is one of my favorite releases within the TAC line, but uh, this one, they had four of these. Uh, this seller had four of these, and they were priced at $275 with free shipping, and there's one left right now. Uh, wait, no, I, I take that back. Items out of stock. I think the last one just sold, so all four of them sold, so that's a, that's a price point for those of you that are looking for this pretty nice battle pack with clones. We all know that clones in general are pretty popular among collectors and uh, this one is no exception so 275 dollars is what all four of these sold for uh, next we have probably the the most exclusive uh, of these multi-packs within the 30th anniversary line i believe these were entertainment earth exclusives but don't quote me on that but this is the republic elite forces this has the mandalorians and clone troopers <clears throat> this was always fairly expensive just given how great the color scheme is and, and all the different figures that are packed in. But after the Mandalorian got released, whatever it was in 2019, these things really jumped up in price. And uh, what an awesome set. Uh, that one was $400 plus $20 shipping. So uh, I think I've got a few of these in here. This is the other one that was included in the sale, I think, or in, the, uh, in that line. This is the more, in my opinion, this is the more desirable of the two multi-packs related to Mandalorians. This is Mandalorians and Omega Squad, and uh, what an awesome pack that is. Lots of vibrant colors on that, and here's the back of the box. It's a little bit blurry, so I apologize for that, but uh, that female Mandalorian with the red, uh, with the, with the red uh, color scheme there is, is just really cool to look at. So yeah, this, is, this one has the sticker in the, in the lower left on the front there that says a limited edition Entertainment Earth exclusive. So uh, that one went for $400 plus $20 shipping, so uh, and then the other one was also $400. So you got the Republic Elite Forces, Mandalorians, and Clone Troopers. And then you have this one that's labeled as the Entertainment Earth Exclusive. That is the Republic Elite Forces and Omega Squad, or the Mandalorian and Mega Squad. So that's the one I like the best personally if I was going to pick one. Um, <clears throat> here's another one. This is the uh, Republic Elite Forces, Mandalorians, and Clone Troopers. And this one was uh, also has that sticker on there. That one was in an auction. That one just sold August 3rd. That one sold for $550 plus a minor shipping amount. So big, big numbers for these Mandalorian-related 30th anniversary packs. Just awesome. And uh, this, this auction actually was for both of them, so I take that back. So both of these have the, the Entertainment Earth exclusive sticker on there. And you got the, the Mandalorians and Clone Troopers, Mandalorians and Omega Squad. So those are the two Entertainment Earth exclusives, and you can pay big dollars for, for that, those two sets. Uh, here was another one that, that uh, had both of them mint and seal box. I believe this seller had two of them, or, or two, you know, double, double offerings. And that one sold for $650, best offer accepted. And uh, was that the same seller or not? No, a different seller. This one, was, so this one sold for $750, and it was listed as having some box damage, as you can see right here on this Omega Squad box. It's got some scratches. It's got some damage right here. So... Clearly, whoever bought whoever bought this uh, this auction or this offering was going to take these out anyway, just given the, the major box damage. But that's a big number, 750 bucks for 
a damaged box set, but uh, whereas this one sold for six fifty, best offer accepted, and the the box was in pretty awesome condition. So, uh, if you if you're looking for this set, just be prepared to pay big money. <clears throat> um, the other ones I wanted to point out as part of these multi packs within the thirtieth anniversary line are the Evolutions line, and I, I kind of alluded to that uh, in uh, the previous video, but. Uh, this one is called the Sith set. This has Darth Maul, Count Doku, and Emperor Palpatine. And, uh, you know, again, credit to Hasbro for putting out some just incredible box art on these. You can see the, the back of the box on that one. That one had some minor wear to it. That one sold for $120 plus another $20 shipping. Uh, this one is the Fett Legacy set. And I would imagine that most of, most buyers are, are, are grabbing this one because of the Knights of the Old Republic Mandalore figure. What an awesome figure that is. I would uh, be really, really happy with Hasbro if they would re-release that as some kind of gaming greats uh, and, and include that as Knights of the Old Republic, uh, you know, have the, have the video game uh, logo on there. But uh, wow, what an awesome, awesome figure that one is. The, the other ones, I mean, it's Jango Fett and Boba Fett. We've certainly had plenty of releases for those two figures, but I would imagine that the cost of this 30th anniversary pack is really related to that Mandalore. Um, but that one, uh, they had, four, this seller had 14 of them, 14 offerings, and they sold for $87, 88, uh, $88 with free shipping, and all 14 of them sold. So uh, it's, it's, that's a pretty reasonable number, really, if you, if you want that, uh, if you want that box set. But uh, they don't, this, this one, for example, didn't look particularly mint, but it had some kind of just very light edge wear. But uh, that Mandalore figure is, 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 a is a really great one. Uh, here's another one. This is Vader's Secret Apprentice. This is one that a subscriber and I were having a conversation about in the comment section from my last video. Uh, this one is uh, has the Secret Apprentice, the Force Unleashed. So I would assume that's kind of like a Starkiller remold. And then you have a Sith Lord in the middle there, and then a Jedi Knight. I, I, don't remember, I, I did play both the Force Unleashed as well as the Force Unleashed 2, and you can see the logo there. It's got a exclusive cheat code inside and I, I don't particularly remember the sith lord but uh uh that's it's a really nice really nice three pack and some great figure molds and i mean again i i, I just i've been really shocked that that hasbro hasn't kind of taken some of these figures and, and repurposed them for the for the vintage collection line but anyway that one sold for 59 dollars with free shipping so a pretty reasonable number there here's that same pack and that, this one sold for 45 dollars so a couple of data points there for those of you looking for the, the Evolutions pack. Uh, another one is the Sith Legacy. This one has Darth Nihilus. And it's hard to tell what kind of figure sculpt that one has, but certainly his, his face sculpt is really nice there. That Darth Bane figure in the middle there is pretty epic. And then you have a Darth Maul figure. So uh, three really nice figures and uh, great packaging. Here's the back of the box on this one. Uh, Darth Bane, Darth Darth Maul, and Darth Nihilus. So I just feel like th there's so much money being left on the table by Hasbro that if they want to economically repurpose some of these figures, instead of giving us yet a third battle droid within the Clone Wars animated line they got coming out next year, why not, why not issue some of these? These would all sell like absolute hotcakes, even if they just did straight repacks on the vintage collection card backs. But... Um, they're not listening. So this one sold for $109.99, best offer accepted plus $10 shipping. And uh, I thought I'd include this one as well. This one has the Sith Legacy, the Fett Legacy, and Vader's Secret Apprentice three packs, all three of them. And that one was listed for $250 with best offer accepted. So a few data points for those of you looking to pick those up. <clears throat> it seems like the most economical way to grab it would be to find a listing like this that has all three of them together. But uh, just make sure you ask the, the seller to um, to pack them well. But uh, really zoom in on these photos because if you're looking for super mint boxes, these just have so look at look at the back of this box art. What awesome box art on these! But uh, there's just so many little weird corners on these that you just get, you know if you're looking to keep it in pristine condition that you really need to zoom in on those photos. And I thought I'd finish it off with a few vehicles within the 30th anniversary packaging. Uh, this was Darth Vader's Sith Starfighter, a really nice. Uh, really nice box art there, and, uh, you know, they basically just took, uh, you know, I, I would assume that this is kind of like Obi-Wan's uh, uh, Starfighter that they repackaged, or that they, they used this one and they repackaged it for the TVC release of Obi-Wan Starfighter, but uh, I could be mistaken on that, but looks awfully similar to the TVC release that came out a few years later. 
Um, that one sold for $98 plus $20 shipping with one bid in an auction. And this is the ARC-170 fighter. I assume, again, that this was another item that was reused for the, the Vintage Collection release, but really great box art on this one as well. Here's the back of the box on that one so you can get a closer look at that. And that one sold for $177 plus another $25 shipping, so about $200. And I saw a number of different uh, closed listings for this worldwide, and they've all kind of, even when you convert for currency in different countries and things, they've all kind of been in that $150 to $200 range, depending on the box condition. So uh, that's another vehicle. And uh, this one is the Y-Wing Fighter, and what an, what an awesome box set that is. You'll probably never see anything like this ever again with these extra large windows uh, and uh, just great display piece. This was a Toys R Us exclusive, as you can see there on the sticker. That one sold for $190 plus another $30 shipping, so really nice. And then I've got a few of these battle packs. These battle packs are just epic, and uh, like I mentioned, I've got a Legacy Collection one related to the Clone Wars, but this was the Battle of Hoth, and you can see how amazing that looks. That is a really nice, really nice box set there. That one was sold in, uh, in, uh, in the United Kingdom. That one sold for 110 pounds or about $150 US plus, plus shipping. But man, what a big box that is. Really nice. And uh, this is one that I had not seen before. I knew that the Ackley Arena Battle Beast was sold separately. And I assumed that uh, the Reek was as well, which is that horn beast there. But I did not know that they made a 30th anniversary Toys R Us exclusive Attack of the Clones kind of battle pack for that as well. So I've got that uh, Accolade Arena Battle Beast, as you guys know, in a prototype format that's completely ridiculous and graded by Collector Archive. 